It's kind of like a uh, treasure hunting. Though. Take two. Very close. Take three. I'm not scared of heights. I'm really not. I'm coming down. I'm talking to myself. Quite magical. Slowly but surely gonna get these bulls back where they're supposed to be. Come on, buddy. He was right at the fence, of course. Stop and kick up some dirt. <laughs> Make sure everybody knows I'm a bull. I jumped out and got the gate. Lawrence has gone up and closed the other gate. So the bull's in the little alleyway. He'll come through here in a second. Jeez. There he goes. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. I got my sidekick. So I'm waiting. The farmer's supposed to be home any minute with some corn. And I want to see if he needs any help. The children are at home. They've eaten their supper. They're playing. I'm just going to stand out here in this beautiful sunshine and enjoy this moment. Come on, Bonnie. Let's go for a walk. You want to? barley this little bit of barley is looking beautiful it all is it's amazing how beautiful it is i'm tempted to just go lay in it but of course i'm not going to <laughs> but nitrogen sure did a number look i mean really though does it get any prettier i don't think so Some of y'all have asked about this old house that has been in some videos. So this is where my husband was raised. They lived here the first nine years. I'm pretty sure he was nine. It was his ninth birthday when they moved from here to there <laughs> in a house that his parents had built. This is a very old house, obviously. Um, I think it had three rooms. And, um, yeah. Pretty amazing. It's just got a bunch of old stuff in it now. But, it's got a lot of character. Some old rails. I don't know. So, so much old stuff. Obviously. It kind of became a junk pile. And a place where his dad would do a lot of mechanic. He did some mechanic work. Mechanic things back there. Look at that old Frigidaire. Honestly, it would be super cool to restore that bad boy. Huh. Yeah, or not. It's super cool looking though. My favorite is this green. These green doors and walls. I have one, an old green door up next to our house that I took away because I loved it. 
<laughs> yeah, just a little bit of stuff. And more stuff. It's kind of like uh, treasure hunting though. And the kids and I have both been over here many times and treasure hunted and found all sorts of stuff. <laughs> A lot of it, I don't even know what it is, but yeah, there's the old sink. I'd love to have seen it. I, there's not even any pictures of it to have seen it when it was actually being used as a home. It's kind of neat to think about it though. Um, I know they had a Johnny house somewhere out there. Pretty sure it's where it was. So that's what they use for the bathroom. And um, yeah, there you go. The old mystery house. <laughs> I never want to tear it down. <laughs> I love using parts of it um, when I do photography. This little wall right here is one of my favorite places to take photos or have photos taken. Right there. When the light's right, when the sun's going down over there, somebody right here, you just got to trust me. It works amazing. And this spot right here in that little gravel road. One of my favorite spots to shoot. I love the juxtaposition of the old and putting couples or young children or even brides in front of these old barns and houses. There's just something about it. To me, it's kind of magical. A lot about this farm is to me quite magical. Getting low, but we got another load last night. group to feed hay to today so that's good um we've got so he spent last night <laughs> over at the other the dairy farm well what was a dairy farm where we keep our corn for now and the bin um the bin that we'll take down and move here as soon as we get it emptied and he spent i don't know six six hours or so because there was something wrong with the auger he didn't get home till like 9 30. <laughs> Anyway, he got it fixed, I think. He got one load home. He's going back to get some more. And um, we'll auger that into our little bin here. Mm -hmm. And yeah, getting close to being done with that corn from last year and getting closer and closer to planting. Yay, I can't wait. I'm just ready. I'm ready. I'm ready to rake and roll is what I'm ready for. I'm ready for hay season. Bring it on. Next month, hopefully. This dog of mine. What are you eating, Bonnie? She won't eat a dog biscuit. I'm trying to give her a dog biscuit. She won't eat it, but she will chew on an old rotten raccoon carcass. Seriously? 
Is this what we're doing, Bonnie? Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Leave it here. Bonnie, come on. Whoever heard of such. Got a chauffeur. Going to get daddy. Do a little shuffling. A little truck tractor shuffle. <laughs> which I can never do right. We'll see. Oh boy. Take two. Farm kid uh, exercise equipment. <laughs> Very good. Yeah. <laughs> eating dog? <laughs> then you want to kiss me on the face? No way. Been <laughs> <laughs> a good little helper today. Oh, okay. You said that was his 
marker next time when he's by himself. See? If he comes up here, he'll know to pull up to that block. Your daddy's so smart. I just climbed up here <laughs> to see how full it is. He thought he thought it was not full, but it is full. So, no more going in here today. What a view. <laughs> what a view. Oh. Let's see all the way over to the barn. How about them apples? or kernels. <laughs> I'm not scared of heights. I'm really not. I just don't really like climbing up here. It's a tight squeeze. It's a very tight squeeze. I'm coming down. I'm talking to myself. All right. Let's go do some more stuff. You get to go home with me. Let's go. Get in. Well, the time has come, y'all. I'm going to see if I can mow some weeds. What was that? I don't know. Something fell. Anyway, this is what we have. Oh, it's a wood. I don't know what it is. Something over there. Anyway, I found the two mowers in the shop. One has the battery thing hooked up to it. I don't know. We're going to see if the thing will crank. I will check the oil. I'm not changing the oil, but I'm going to check it and I'll check the gas and we'll see if she cranks. Here's hoping. I need to put that on a T. Here's hoping. Really, I might do that. Uh. It has some gas. I don't know if it's enough gas. It's got plenty of oil that I just dripped everywhere. All right, buddy. Let's see what you got. Oh gosh, I can't remember how to do this. I don't even know how to use this little thing either. It's already gotten very dirty. You have to plug it in? Maybe you do. I guess you do. Okay, it's plugged in. And it's plugged up. Let's see if I remember how to do this. It's been so long. It's been so long. Full bunny.
she used to. I really loved it when she did. Oh, well, that's done, y'all. Happy day. The weeds are mowed. I'm so excited. Seriously, that was therapeutic right there. But I love to mow. I do. I love to mow. The first mow. The first mow of 2020 is done. I need to go over and do papas. Maybe I can do that tomorrow. It's the perfect day. Beautiful Carolina blue skies. As in Carolina, North Carolina, the state, not not North Carolina, the ball team. I don't pull for them. But anyway, Carolina blue skies, 60s, it's warm, sunny, and the first mow is done. And yes, I really am this excited about mowing. It's not like a act or whatever. I like to mow. It makes me happy. So, that's awesome. Okay, now to wash the mower. I'm not good at that. My husband likes for it to be to be washed very good up underneath to get all the grass out. And it requires me lifting it with one arm, hand and arm attached. The arm and the hand are attached and they need to lift it. And um, I used to do it a lot. I didn't really like doing it, but I can do it. Or I used to could. And then I started chickening out and I just leave it for him to do, but I'm gonna try to do it today. We'll see. I'll try. I'll try. Tomorrow, tomorrow, this is getting laid down. Yep. It won't be long. And that field is gonna need mowing too. Whoop, whoop. Y'all, today has been a good day. It has been a good day to be alive. Every day is a good day to be alive. It's a, been a great day around here to be outside and get some stuff done and, um, yeah, I'm feeling good today. Uh, thank you to those of you who responded so kindly to my last video where I got a little emotional about all the feelings and all the things going on. Um, I know that God is in control. I know that he has all of us and all of this in his hands. I know that good will come from everything that is going on and I trust in him. I trust in him and his plan and his mercy and his grace and his provision. So, um, this too shall pass. We will make it through this. We are better together. And I will keep saying that because I truly wholeheartedly believe it. Y'all are amazing. Keep fighting. Keep up the good fight. Um, we're going to make it through all that's going on right now. And we're going to come out stronger. I truly believe that we're going to come out stronger. We're going to come out better. And, um, yeah. So anywho, I am going home now and I'm going to cook a steak. Can you believe it? I'm going to cook a steak tonight <laughs> because we have them. We have, we have steaks and it's a good way to end a good day with a cast iron steak and some smashed potatoes and probably a really big, fat, amazing salad. Yeah, that's what we're doing. So, I think I'll take you with me. Can we really have too much steak and butter and potatoes in the world? Can there be too many videos of that out in the interwebs? I mean, I don't think so. I just really don't think so. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it out there again. Let's go do it right now. And here we go, y'all. Goodness, goodness, goodness. I'm actually showing this recipe on my, I'm, I'm recording this recipe for my other channel. 
I've already started on here a hundred thousand times before, but I'm going to have another one over there because can you really have too many? No, I'm saying not. All right, supper's ready. How's that say? Anywhere for who? <laughs> it's just right, isn't it? Just right. All right. Good stuff? Mm -hmm. Alrighty, good deal. What do you want, Bonnie? Come to eat, Mama. <laughs> You're going to have to wait for some leftover gristle. <laughs> Are you drooling, Bonnie? Said drool, drool rolling off of her face. Well, you're lucky. Here you go. Mmm, you ate that fast. 